Hello, welcome to another episode of Mac Minute. This week we're going to talk about calendars. We talked about mail and we talked about contacts. So there's one thing left that's in Outlook, if you use Outlook on a PC, that we have not talked about yet, and that is calendars. Actually, there's a couple of things, but calendars is the biggest thing that we haven't talked about. So today we're going to talk about calendars. And just like mail and contacts, calendars is a separate application on the Mac. However, it does integrate with the mail. So I'm going to show you a calendar, and actually this is not my true calendar. This is actually the calendar that I have from Gmail and from Yahoo. I don't know have my Exchange calendar, which is where I do all my most of my scheduling in it. And you can see it looks like a calendar. So you know, calendars. How many ways can you look at a calendar? They're you know they're either in a daily, a weekly, or a business weekly. And you can do the same thing right here. You can say I want to see my calendar by the day, and I want to see it by the week or I want to see it by the month, or I want to see it by the year. And it works very similar to other mail clients. The one thing that's a little different here is if you click on the calendar button at the top, you can see I have both my Yahoo and my Gmail. And if I had my Exchange set up in here, I would see my Exchange calendar, and they can all live together in one calendar. So this allows you to take a family calendar you keep in Gmail or in Yahoo, and your work calendar and overlay them on top of each other. And as you'll notice, in Yahoo and in Gmail both, I have different calendars. I have a show calendar that reminds me when shows need to be released or need to be edited or when we're recording. I have my personal calendar, which I don't really have anything on, I don't think. And then I have Yahoo reminders. I have my personal calendar uh, and the, cal the default calendar from Yahoo. So you can see I can combine all my calendars into one thing. It makes it very easy to see all my scheduled stuff together. Now when you add a new calendar entry, you basically can create a quick event by clicking on the plus sign like I just did right there, or you can come down to a particular time. Let's say I have put something here at 1 p.m. and I can just call it my, uh, my meeting. And then I can double click on it. And you see the defaults right here. I can very easily change what calendar, and now it's on my home calendar. I wanna say I wanna move this down to my show calendar. And you'll see it change color in the background. You can change the time. You can invite other people. So you can do everything that a normal calendar can do. You can set your alert for how you want to be alerted. And uh, it basically is a fully functional calendar that combines all your calendars into one, which is great, especially if you have uh, multiple places you keep calendars for information. There's lots of people that use shared Google calendars. That's how they keep their groups together. So the group calendar that people share that can be in here just as easy as other calendars. So that's the quick overview of calendars. It's not, it's still there. It's just not built into the same mail program that you use to check your mail. And it's a very full featured calendar as well. That's it for Mac Minute this week. We'll see you next week. For show notes for this show, contacts and more, go to the techzen.tv website where you can get show notes for all of our shows. We love to hear from our viewers and listeners. We have an email, a Twitter, and a phone number where you can contact us for each show. For details, visit the techzen.tv website and get the show details. You can also make a video and upload it somewhere like YouTube or Vimeo and then just send us a link. You never know, you may see your video in a future show. You can get all of our shows delivered automatically to your favorite device by going to your favorite podcast website like iTunes and subscribing. Each of our shows also has a YouTube channel you can subscribe to to get regular updates. Our shows are also available on most internet radio networks like Stitcher and TuneIn Radio. You can also watch and listen to our shows on Xbox, TiVo, and Roku. You can even find us on your Zoom.